No reason to get up. Need some water? Sure you do. I've got some right here for you. You know, I was accidentally rummaging through your search history, and it seems like you wanted to know how to get a better sleep. That's good. You know, up to a third of people worldwide have insomnia, up to 50 to 60% in some areas, and it gets worse if you're a female or a senior. This is why one of the fastest growing cannabis products is CBN. Heard of it? Don't worry, I have this topic covered like a blanket. Just not those fancy weighted ones, we still have a budget. Today's entry to the cannabinoid series has turned up the volume on winding down at night. A not very well understood way of sending you off into dreamland. Tuck yourself in, cause today we are going to look at CBN. Let's get into it. Hello everyone, Dr. Ife Abioli here with another educational video. Today we're gonna to continue our cannabinoid series and in the spirit of CBN, this is today's Sleepy Rundown. So let's start with the name, CBN. CBN stands for cannabinol. Not to be confused with CBD, cannabidiol. CBN is a cannabinoid found in the plant and the exact amount changes over time. Why you ask? Because CBN is a product of THC without the need for decarboxylation. Ah, balderdash. How is such transformation even possible without the use of the forbidden arts? Well, it seems nature is finally pulling its weight by transforming THC to CBN with the use of oxygen, UV light, and time. Time. You know how the common narrative is that aged cannabis tends to be more sedating? We'll get to that soon. The glandular and crystalline structures that come off of the cannabis bud are called trichomes. Trichomes not only produce, but hold THC. As THC is developed, these clear tall boys over here become milky white. And with a little bit more time and exposure, they become a dark yellow brown. We call this amber. It's like an apple. With exposure to oxygen, light, and time, if you cut open an apple, it turns from white to brown. Just like a trichome. You know, they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. No, no. What's happening again? No, <laughs> it's so painful. The movement of THCA to CBN is a problem most of the time. With the oxidation process, you lose that THCA and thus your potential for a higher amount of THC. Good quality cannabis would have the trichomes be milky white at the point of consumption and not yellow and full of CBN. But if you wanted to make CBN intentionally, you would put product under the conditions of exposure to UV light, oxygen, and time. And here you would maximize CBN as a cannabinoid in the plant. I get that there's some drawbacks with CBN. It's not for everyone and the black market has avoided it for a long period of time. But perspective is everything. Because it goes without saying that there's certain things in life that get better with age. And if you have disordered sleep, CBN is one of them. CBN is a weak CB1 agonist, which means that it attaches to your CB1 receptors turns them on, but it turns them on slightly. In fact, it's about one-tenth the strength of THC, so it's not good at precipitating a high. Not as good as THC, but maybe, just maybe, if they work together, CBN could increase the effects of THC. There's been some major studies on the effects of CBN as early as the 70s. One of them called the effects of THC and CBN in man, showed that people who used THC and CBN felt drugged, drowsy, drunk and dizzier than using just THC. This is pretty significant, especially that drowsy part. The evidence shows that CBN and THC combined can increase drowsiness. Also drugged, but drowsiness is what we're gonna focus on today. Many people right now are using CBN for their sleep and CBN products have been in stores for a little while. Most people using CBN are using it for sleep induction, that is falling asleep and also for staying asleep. And it's catching on like wildfire with countless testimonials to how well it works. So to what extent is anecdotal evidence fact? It's something, but there's a growing group of people who think the attributes of CBN might be due to another factor. One that we are not taking into account. Maybe the aging of cannabis has some other effect and CBN is more of a symptom than a cause. For instance, there's changes to the terpene quality and quantity that take place when cannabis ages. And in the later stages, this is things like the sesquiterpenes. So maybe that's the reason why cannabis with high amounts of CBN makes you tired. Possibly, just a thought. Or maybe it's something completely different. Furthermore, for the dizzy, drugged, drowsy, and drunk parts, there are some folks who tend to lean a little bit towards the dizzy side than towards the drowsy side when they use CBN. Why? 
In the past, CBN has been blamed for a loopy, unpleasant feeling. Dysphoria. Wait, wait, wait. CBN can make you feel drowsy, and it can make you feel dizzy, and it can make you feel a bunch of things in between? How is that possible with one chemical? Sure, it generally helps sleep, but how can it give so many different effects? It may be panning out that the different effects are not because of a different chemical, but because of different people. The CNR2 gene is the gene that determines the distribution of our cannabis receptors in our bodies. And that includes the brain. The differences in expression of this gene mean that potentially CBN could affect everyone a little bit differently, mostly making people drowsy, but everyone could experience it in their own way. This is why we see that variability in the effects. So what is my suggestion here? First, try CBN. Disordered sleep is such a problem. It affects everything from your metabolism, hormones, healing, and even your cognitive functions, or lack thereof. Sleep problems are nothing to let run wild or get out of control. You need to fix it. And CBN is a great accessible solution. Like many of these new cannabinoids, CBN can also be vaped, smoked, or ingested. So if you fall into that third of people who have issues with their sleep, CBN is definitely worth a try before things get too bad. CBN is a great option, but there are things that you need to be aware of before you use any form of cannabis for sleep, especially as it relates to the stages of our sleep. Feel free to watch this episode of THC Public Access TV where we detail the stages of sleep, what they mean, and how the use of any form of cannabis can impact them. And that will be down in the description below. Thank you everyone for watching. Take a look at the other installments in our cannabinoid series. I hope you learned something and we will see you soon.